Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking It's D. Boss reacts to this lovely T TV vid. It's titled Male S Worker Hands Over Freak Off Video. Oh my goodness. What if this leaks soon? And Madam <laughs> Carisha accused of harassing Diddy's victims. I knew she wasn't innocent. I knew it. I told y'all. I never trusted her when she came out. I don't know, Chad's like, well, I never had that experience. Mm, he wasn't doing none of that with me. Lies on lies. She getting exposed very soon. You just watch. Anyway, let's see what's going on. Let's watch. So shit is getting even realer in the Diddy camp. Mm -hmm. um, right now, Carisha is trending all over social media. But before we even get into Carisha, I want to talk about what went down earlier today. So if you guys do not know, a male porn star has now contacted okay. the feds. And he's basically giving them a videotape of one of Diddy's freak offs that wow. took place so i'm going to go ahead and read you guys it. this article it says here a man who participated in sean diddy combs alleged encounters have provided videos to federal prosecutors oh. according to the online reports a male sex worker met with the feds wednesday in new york city and signed a proffer agreement which allows him to speak this to federal bad, investigators without fear of prosecution remember that is the same proffer agreement that they gave to to keep ed but KPD oh. got comfortable and got to doing too much, and they threw his proper agreement out the window. So then TMZ goes on to report, we're told that the conversation revolved around Diddy, with the man explaining how he got in touch with an escort to engage in a freak-off involving himself, Diddy, and a woman. The prosecutors mm. have said that freak-offs insist of group sex and are at the center of their criminal case against Combs. Our sources say that the man also dished on what type of drugs Diddy allegedly liked to use during his sex sessions, as well as details about one specific encounter he claims was caught on tape. Mm. Our sources say that the threesome went down in May of 2023. Keep that date in mind, because I have some receipts. Oh. When the sex worker claims he flew from Atlanta to Miami to meet with Diddy and the woman, and he ended up having intercourse with her while Diddy filmed the encounter. We're told that the sex worker had a copy of the video from the alleged encounter and turned it over to the agents who met with him. What's interesting about the sex worker's account is that it lines up with what Diddy's attorney, but then basically TMZ said that they had spoke to the attorney for their new documentary, The Downfall of Diddy, The Indictment, and he said that the freak outs were not wild orgies, simply threesomes with consenting adults, okay? Now, a lot of people are trying to figure out, well, who was the other female? Well, social media has clocked Carisha's tea. If you guys remember, see, Carisha's Ooh. messy. She can't seem to stop bragging and, and carrying her ass to social media to run her mouth. Mm. But if you go to her Twitter page and her Instagram page, around that same date, May 26th of 2023 at 10 o'clock p.m., she posted a video of herself shopping. And she said in that video... He want to sponsor my hashtag act bad. Thank you, Poppy. So, so basically what people are saying is that after she got fucked by the sex worker with her white nail polish wearing ass, oh. is that he took her shopping. Also, she posted a second picture on her stories with her and Diddy. So in this second picture that she posted on her Instagram stories, it's a picture of her and Diddy oh, and she's holding on to him for dear life. Right. And it basically says Bobby and Whitney. So that's like the 90s version of ride or die chick, basically. Because if you guys knew the Bobby and Whitney story, all they did was get high, fuck, and, you know, have each other's back. So she, while she's trying to be his ride or die, I hope Madam Carisha, who seems now to be a big pussy deviant, mm. um, I hope her ass is ready for the consequences because Ooh. there's more information coming I out about the lawsuit that came out earlier today, and this lawsuit is from an anonymous woman. Because y'all have to think about it. Let's think critically. Because even when I first heard that they were fucking around, I'm like, did he with Carisha? That doesn't even sound like his M.O. Like, that just... That didn't sound like a, it, it made a lot of sense, but Carisha has been very vocal about doing whatever for a bag, and that's all she cared about. Where the bag at? Where the money at? Money, money, money. So he like, oh, bet I could throw some dollars at her, and she gonna do whatever. She gonna get pissed on, shitted on. She gonna bring me bitches from all around the world, even if they underage, drug them. Like, she willing to do whatever. She has no morals, no integrity. She's a bottom of the barrel ass bitch. Who's willing to do whatever for whatever. And I'm not trying to be shady. <laughs> it just is. When it, listen to the music. 
Like, read some of the tweets. Like, pay attention to how she she acts online, how she carries herself, and how vocal she is about how she values money literally above anything, above self-respect, above anything. That is her whole MO. That's her, her message. That's how she carries herself. So that is why he was so drawn to her. Like, oh, I'm going to do, I'm going to take her through the fucking ring or do whatever. And yeah, I can use her to help, you know, bring in other people. So this does not surprise me at all. You all know that that woman is Gina Hun because she has mentioned some things that specifically. Because the, 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 the women we saw Diddy link with that he was like public with, like way more classy, carried themselves like, you know, respectable women. You feel me for the most part. So just going to Carisha, it was like, wait, what? So it's not like he's drawn to ratchet women like that. That's not usually who he dates. He's drawn to what she will do, and that's whatever. Carisha. Trifling. So in this she newest trifling. lawsuit, um, the details that have come out is that Jane Doe claims the rapper drugged and assaulted her over four years, and she became pregnant during one of the encounters before what? suffering a miscarriage. She alleges that young Miami... Diddy's former partner, whose real name is Carisha Brownlee, then oh, harassed her, telling her to get an abortion. She is the latest person to file a lawsuit against the rapper who is awaiting trial. Then they go on to say that she learned she was pregnant around July of 2022, following the alleged April assault, one of the various alleged incidents in all this. She is also suing the bad boy mogul for physical assault, battery, sexual battery, sexual harassment, unlawful surveillance, tampering with consumer product, emotional distress, and the violation of Gender Motivated Violence Act of New York. In July of 2022, Jane Doe traveled at defendant Combs's command to his home in Los Angeles. While the defendant was in Combs's bathroom, Jane Doe, Jane Doe was compelled to ingest an unknown substance. Jane Doe later learned it was or contaminated the drug ketamine and other substances which caused Jane Doe to black out and lose consciousness mm -hmm. throughout the night. Jane Doe did not consent to ingesting ketamine or any other substance. Shortly after that, Jane Doe took a pregnancy test and it was positive. The lawsuit against Diddy continues. Jane Doe informed defendant Combs of the positive test. Carisha Brownlee, the defendant's, and Combs's associate harassed Jane Doe by repeatedly calling her and telling Jane Doe to have an abortion. Jane ended up suffering a miscarriage and did not speak to the defendant Combs or his team for approximately three months. Then they say Combs would make her perform a show for him and would ply her with alcohol and substances until she passed out. She would wake up with bruising and injuries with no recollection of how she sustained the injuries. And again, this continued until July 2024. So what's very interesting mm. about this part of the lawsuit where she's calling out Carisha if you remember, this is how we're able to figure out that it was Jane Doe. Carisha was into it with the Asian woman named Gina Hun. Carisha was so nasty this woman, to this woman that she definitely had inside knowledge. Remember, in July of 2022, they're saying that she went to Combs' house. Um, that's when she got pregnant around that time. And then when we fast forward to December of 2022, because she didn't talk to them for months after that. She took to social media and she was basically going in on Carisha. Because remember, this was after this was after the public found out that Diddy had a baby on Carisha and people were clowning her. And so Gina took to social media to also join in the foolishness and basically clown Carisha as well by, pay, by playing a song and calling her a dumb bitch and then saying that city girls are down a thousand. You doing all this extra shit, you stupid bitch. So then Carisha got mad and she took to social media and she said the following. You want a baby, bitch. I have a career hoe. You a certified freak. You haven't heard from Diddy since the awards reminiscing on abortions. Let the hurt go, Chung Lee. And then she and says, Gina, you have been down bad ever since I came into the picture, hoe. You have been crying for a baby for 10 years, hoe. You have been around as a bitch that eat pussy and dick. And when he feel like it, you will eat her. Then Carisha says, somebody please give this bitch some attention. Notice me, please ass bitch. Go sit down. We see you. Relax. It's okay. You've been around and around for years. You've been waiting on this moment. If he can't make you famous, bitch, I can't. Attention, bitch. I am the attention. Let's be clear. Then she says, I ain't arguing with no bitch that got cheap ass lint ball carpet in their house, fucking on a billionaire. You a freaky ass bitch. 
First of all, how do you know what her house looks like and what her mm. carpet looks like? Sounds like you might have been getting fucked on that carpet as well. Because mm. I'm not going to know that somebody's carpet is being linty unless I'm actually investing and spending time in their home. Other than that, I don't know what your carpet looks like, okay? Then she goes on to say, I am and that's why I fucked on your nigga and I ain't coming off him. I don't care how many pics you post. Get that head, bread, and leave. Airplane emoji. So, again, like I said, this girl's a straight bird. Absolutely. And I talked about this back in degree. 2022. But, you know, Disgusting. all of this stuff that she's been tweeting and posting is coming back to bite her in the ass. Gina had an interview with the Jasmine brand where she said, at the end of the day, I really value the friendship that him and I have. He did bless me in a lot of ways. I am going to be forever grateful and respect him. However, things got real messy when Diddy started hooking up with Miami. So that drama started when news hit the internet that Diddy had gotten another woman pregnant while he was still in a relationship with Miami. Gina posted a clip with her lip sinking to the like lyrics you doing all this extra shit you stupid be and added the text when she beefing with you over a guy but whole time he got somebody else pregnant she also said in the caption the city girl's down by a thousand hey, you doing all this extra shit you stupid now, after Miami saw this, she went off on Gina and made fun of her for allowing Diddy to manipulate her back into a relationship, even though he physically abused her in the past. And we all knew Miami has been Diddy's ride or die for a while now, but I definitely didn't expect her to be an accomplice mm. torturing his victims. This is just crazy. This also explains why Miami has been very quiet ever since the allegations came out. Most people thought she wasn't saying anything because she was scared of Diddy coming for her. But it she looks like she was allegedly Diddy's accomplice the whole time because she knew everything about him and chose to stay quiet. Miami was also caught going off on a fan who left a comment about Cassie's lawsuit under a picture of her and Diddy. But once again, she didn't care and told the fan to get off her page. The person commented, you ain't learning from Cassie's sister. To which Miami replied, I think you under the wrong page lmao jaguar right also hinted at miami being diddy's accomplice when she blasted her for leaving diddy after he cut her allowance from 500k to 250k a month according to jaguar the reason why miami felt offended when diddy cut her allowance was because she was the one keeping all his dark secrets and she was expecting him to because that is a lot of money <coughs> excuse me <coughs> So dry. <laughs> that that is a lot of money. If she really was getting that much, you have to think why? Why he ain't paying her all that money for nothing? For nothing because he thinks she cute? Fuck out of here. He did it way better than Carisha. Let's just be honest about it. It's not about that. She was keeping the secrets. She was doing the dirt, the dirty work. They they already said she was transporting drugs, the pink diamond or whatever that drug is called. You know, between states and stuff for, for him and the victims, bro. Her for keeping she going secrets. Down. What the f is going on that two hundred and fifty thousand ain't enough? Ladies. Like the fact that, that that he I'm just saying the fact that he cut from five hundred to two hundred. Who the f gives a sh two hundred K who two hundred and fifty K? Who turning down two hundred and fifty K a month? Mm. What the f is going on in that relationship that 250k ain't enough? She like I'm getting well, shitted on daily. And you... That nigga couldn't get you get you there. You had to use my face every time. Yeah. Period. Child, I I just saw that snippet. So the whole situation was crazy. They went back and forth a little further. Gina Hunt was saying things like "suck my dick." I don't give a fuck. Why you so press, mama? I thought you were a city girl, but then Carisha said that, but then Carisha sent that infamous tweet that everybody still talks about to this day, when she says, mm -hmm. if I wanted you to eat my pussy, Diddy would have had you on your knees, ho, you will eat her. Mm -hmm. So Carisha's a very, very sick individual for her to be writing something like that, yeah. and it shows that her and Diddy are one and the same. And Absolutely. now that I think about it, she really has no talent. She can't rap. She can't you dance. Now thought about JT that? was the brains of the operation. <laughs> now I'm starting to yeah. think that City Girls was a front for him to, you know, 
to use them as escorts. Not JT, but Carisha's yes. desperate ass. Because remember that girl T from Zeus Network? She said she's been in a room with Carisha before and she recognized Carisha and JT yep. looked confused so as hell. Cool. I really think the way that Carisha moves, the way she talks and carries herself, she is a madam. So y'all go ahead Absolutely. and watch this video once again of T recognizing Carisha on the red carpet. I know what it is. How you feeling? Where you know me from? I don't know. You remember? We went on, uh, where did we go? We went on a trip. You don't remember where we went? It was like a group of us. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I know you. That's why I know you from. I know. Where? You remember now? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, now we're here. Awkward. Girl, that was not what I was talking about. Did you? All right, so you guys just saw that video. She was on, the whole, on top whole of that, purse. when you think about Carisha, please, everything with Carisha, please, it's always some over the top, freaky ass comments like her trying to get with Meg the Stallion, her saying she okay. wants to have threesomes with different girls in the industry, her talking to Trina about being peed on. She mm -hmm. did another interview where she was calling herself a whore. I'm really a whore. Like, I'm on like with a W. Like, I'm a whore. So to me, it seems like. She she enjoys that type of energy. You what know, w, her and Diddy are one of the same. Slow? Everything with her is overtly sexual. It's all, it almost sounds like she's trying to recruit other girls for Diddy for these freak-offs. Even the picture with her and Sweetie, like what other podcast hosts take pictures like that with their guests? It looks like they're smashing. Mm. So at this point, I'm believing this whole Carisha please was nothing but a front for them to be able to not just traffic, but to just have these freaky ass threesomes with people in the industry. Just my personal opinion. <laughs> I can't say it. You got to. It's a like, take a shot. It's like golden showers. I do. Golden showers, meaning when the guy pees on you, mm -hmm. pee on you everywhere. You like it? I just like it. You do? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> freak of the week, huh? So you say take a shot. You not take. You say take a shot. Yeah, shot? I take a shot. You like go to shower? I do. But yeah. like peeing on you. I don't know. It's just. I'm gonna be honest. Hold on, one thing. I need something. I'm disgusting. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never had a golden shower. Like girls. <laughs> I mean, I like what I like. <laughs> I like you. You do. I do. You gonna fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> She's a cream. Why would you say it like that? <laughs> Cause would you fuck me? Yeah, I would. So who else? Huh? Me. Mm -hmm. Honey. Like I told you, Carisha to me gives me escort vibes. That's why I call her Madam Carisha. Um, she's just trash. At this point in time, I think this big pussy deviant needs to be locked Ooh. up right alongside her big dick deviant boyfriend, Ooh. okay? I'm done with both of them. Period. But I look forward to hearing from you. Carisha is guilty. She is guilty 1,000%. You can't look at all the evidence that's presented and be like, oh, her and Diddy was just, you know, chilling. You know, they were in a loving relationship and he just wants to give her money because she's so fine and he loved her so much. No, we know what was really going down based on how she talks, carries herself. We know, we know what she wish. She with the shits if, if the money is right. And and he used her for that. And now it's coming back to bite her in the ass. So good luck, girl. You better lawyer the fuck up. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.